Okay, this is a lesson for the Eurovision Classic. A student asked me this week, do I know any Eurovision songs? And this was the first one that came to mind. So, the chords we're going to need, we'll need G, we'll need C, E minor, A minor, F and D7. If you're not familiar with some of those, uh, I'd encourage you to check them out on YouTube because in this video I'm going to run through the contents of the song itself. So, for the intro, you're going to get your G chord and it's the G we use with four fingers and what I'll do first is I'm just going to play it for you just to demonstrate. So it's going to go and it loops around like that. Okay, so to begin, we get our G chord and you're going to count, you're going to go 1 E and uh, 2 E and and so on. On the first beat of each, you're going to hit the root note, which is the top string, and it's going to go one, E, and, A. Uh. On the and, as, you'll hit the rest of the strings. And when that's done in the loop for the four beats, it sounds like this. It goes one, E, and, A, uh, two, E, and, A, uh, three, E, and, A, uh, four, E, and, A. Uh. And when it's sped up at the end, that's what we get. Okay? Now, the next thing is we get the rundown that brings us into the verse and it goes as follows, it goes The last note is actually part of the first chord of the verse but if you want to make it sound complete you'll add it in so you'll go Again take it very slowly, the best fingers I find to use are my third finger, my ring and my index finger here, okay because that keeps me in keeps me in prime position to land on the first chord of the verse, which is C. The next thing with the verse, or sorry, I'll demonstrate that first, I'll go. So that's our intro. The verse then, it, to get that sort of boppy rhythm going on, we need to find out which strings specifically we need to hit on each chord. So for your C chord, I'm playing that old sort of traditional C. It used to be in books like from years back. So you're going to, if you play this C regularly, get your third finger, move it up a string and put the pinky underneath. Now the rhythm, the way it works is as follows. You're going to see in the sheet below. And as I said, this was a sort of a last minute thing. So uh, the sheet is a bit rough and ready, but you'll get the idea. You'll hit the fifth string first. Okay, so you hit the fifth. Then you hit the rest of the chord, then you hit the sixth string, then you hit the rest of the chord. And that's of course numbering the string six, five, four, three, two, one. But it's only the thicker ones we're concerned with. So it goes as follows on C. We go. And that's the length of one chord that's written. So that's our four beats. So it goes one, two, three. Then on E minor, you'll notice that we flip it around, it's the 6th string we hit first, then the 5th. A minor is the same as C, 5th string, then 6th. And finally F, which you can use the bar chord or this one, whichever one you wish, because we're going to hit the 4th string, and then the 5th. That line all together sounds as follows, it goes... Now, if you're new to that sort of rhythm, uh, it's probably the best idea to get a chord on its own and get used to that specific rhythm of hitting a string on its own and then hitting the rest of the strings all together and then start joining them up. So you could take C going to E minor, then E minor going to A minor, then A minor to F of course. And we do that line three times and the last line then we do C to E minor the same as before but you'll notice on the sheet that we get A minor to D7 and that's two beats on A minor, two on D7. That doesn't give us as much time to do the full on. I rather the sound of us just hitting the root note on its own so for A minor you're just going to hit the fifth string then hit the rest, do that again, then for D7 
you're going to hit the fourth string. And that final G is the same as our intro G. That leads us back into the intro section again. So all that line would sound as follows. That leads us back around for the other loop. Now, for anybody watching who's wondering about that saxophone solo chord thing at the end, when I used to play this years ago, I used to just like pick random chords like uh, ones that sound pretty rotten. <laughs> That's how it would end. So you do all that twice, and that is my lovely horse. Enjoy.